Students, today we are going to discuss about pole and pistol interactions. So, pole and pistol interactions. <coughs> In previous topics we discussed about pollination and uh, so types of pollination and agents of pollination we discussed in previous chapters now pollen pistil interaction pollination does not guarantee to reach the right pollen grain on the stigma yes pollination takes place what is pollination transfer of pollen grains from anther to stigma of right now anther to stigma oh, uh, transfer of pollen grains from anther to stigma that is called pollination but the pollination does not guarantee it to transfer the right pollen grain. Sir, how you can say that? See, so after pollination, plants are going to receive two types of pollen grains or either of the pollen grains. It may be compatible pollen grain or it may be incompatible pollen grains. After pollination, right now, the stigma receives two types or either of the pollen grains. What are those either? Two types of the pollen grains. It may be compatible pollen grain. It may be compatible. So, compatible is nothing but right one. And incompatible pollen grain. Incompatible means a wrong one. That means uh, the pollen grain that is belonging to same species, a wrong one means. Uh, Incompatible means a pollen grain, it is not belonging to same species. I hope you are clear. So, the pollen, pollination does not guarantee to reach the same or exact pollen grains. Right now, so often, right now, after pollination, the stigma receives either of the pollen grains. So, that means a compatible and incompatible pollen grains. Compatible pollen grains. See here, compatible pollen grains are nothing but the right one, that is, right one means a the pollen grains which belonging to same species and the incompatible pollen grains are wrong pollen grains. That means the pollen grains which are not belonging to same species. I hope you are clear. So compatible or incompatible. Here one thing. If the stigma receives the compatible pollen grain, then the stigma accept or it accept and it allow the pollen grain to germinate over stigma. If the pollen grain, whatever the stigma receives the pollen grain, that pollen grain is incompatible. Then the stigma rejects it to germinate the pollen grain on this stigma. I hope you are clear. Whatever the pollen grain received by this stigma due to pollination, if it is compatible, then it allow to germinate the pollen grain on this stigma. If it is wrong one, it rejects to germinate the pollen grain on the stigma. I hope you are clear. Yes. If it is the right one, what will happen? The stigma provide moisture and the nutrients to germinate the pollen grains over the stigma. If it is wrong one, what will happen? Ma? It reject. So how it is? I will give one similar example. See, you are staying in your home. Someone came and uh, knocked your door or <coughs> they rang calling bell right now. Then you will go and through a uh, window or uh, Nowadays in doors, uh, they are going to fix one mirror, eye mirror. So you will see like this, right now, if it is known person, then you are going to open the door. If it is unknown person, right now, you won't allow him into your house. The similar condition here also. So whatever the pollen grains reach on the stigma, they are belonging to same species, then it accepts. Uh, they are not belonging to same species, it rejects. I hope you are clear. Yes, if it is right one, what will happen? So, it provides the moisture and nutrients to the pollen grains. As a result, the pollen grains will germinate. But, we know that. So, the exine of the pollen grain or outer layer of the pollen grain is interrupted by small pores. Those are called germ pores. So, whenever pollen grain is germinated as a result, what will happen? The pollen tube emerges. Pollen tube emerges through entire eczema, obviously in time. Right now, the pollen tube emerges from the entire, from entire. Yes, once it germinated, whenever the pollen grain germinated, automatically what will happen? Ma? 
the constants of the pollen grains may travel through pollen tube but uh, the pollen <coughs> the pollen tube where it will germinate by it will germinate on the stigma and uh, it travel through style stigma and style and finally it reach perma ovule it reach the ovule but here my condition stigma also having some tissues and style also having some tissues but the stigma and the style is digested by enzyme but uh, these enzymes are secreted by pollen grains right now the tissues of this style and stigma is digested by some enzymes but these enzymes are secreted or released by pollen grains i hope but the growth of the pollen tube is guided chemotrophically towards or the concentration of the chemical substance towards a ovule but which chemical substance guide the pollen tube to move towards or to grow towards the micropylar end of the ovule the boron inositol sugar complex can guide the pollen tube to grow towards the ovule which one ma boron inositol boron inositol sugar complex see boron inositol sugar complex so we will do small this is the stigma and it is the style and this is the ovary inside the ovary ovules are present we know that for example these are the different types of pollen grains so, so settle down over stigma uh, after pollination <coughs> right see so now so whatever the pollen grains reach the stigma all these pollen grains do not germinate because uh, so already we discussed <coughs> so we may find out two types of pollen grains compatible and incompatible for example it is the right pollen grain so that means a compatible it germinated then it germinated then it produce the pollen tube see like this and this pollen tube travel through the style and stigma and reach here but this pollen tube carries constituents of the pollen grain constituents of the pollen grain sir what are the constituents of the pollen grain in previous Uh, classes we discuss about structure of pollen grains there we studied the pollen grain has two cells a vegetative cell and a generative cell and the generative cell is also called tube cell why we are calling tube cell see the sorry the vegetative cell is also called tube cell why we are calling tube cell see the vegetative cell is involved in the formation of the pollen tube hence it is called a tube cell but generative cell the nucleus of the generative cell undergo mitotic division as a result it can produce a two male gametes and these two male gametes are travel through pollen tube to reach which one ma to reach the embryo sac to reach embryo sac where embryo sac is present embryo sac is present inside the ovule see for example if we take the already you know how this media the nucleus of the generative cell undergo mitotic division see for example this is the nucleus of generative cell nucleus of gc generative cell when it undergo mitotic division as a result it can produce the two male gametes yes <clears throat> now pollen pistil interaction is over the pollen pistil interaction is the most important topic right now so why me because so after pollination post pollination events are taking place in here see so pollen grain germinate after germination of the pollen grain it produce the pollen tube pollen tube carries which one to male gametes how these two male gametes are formed the two male gametes are formed by the so which division mitotic division of nucleus of generative cell as a result two male gametes are formed 
Previously we discussed about the female gamete. Where this female gamete is present? The female gamete is present inside the embryo sac. Where this embryo sac is present? Embryo sac is present inside the ovary. This is about pollen-pistil interactions.